What is up, YouTube land? This is Chris Catalunya. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, go ahead and click that subscribe button on the bottom right. And if you like this video by the end of the video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up and also check out my Instagram over here. All right, so I'm pretty excited because Supreme just finished up their week one. I already got my item from week one today, and this is for summer, spring 2018. And if you're trying to cop anything during week one, you already know there is so much chaos going around. You know, people are trying out different new bots, and I know Supreme like killed a lot of those bot applications so you couldn't use them. Uh, I know a lot of people were trying to cop some of the merch on week one, and the website we just go down it wasn't having it lucky for me i was able to cop i got me a supreme skull pile skateboard deck this deck looks pretty legit is that a thing this deck looks legit so during week one this was released along with that bomber jacket and i'm pretty excited because during week two which is today today's thursday i was able to catch one of these the vans highs Retail on this board is about $66, with shipping was about $88. Now looking on eBay or third-party reseller accounts, um, you can find this board for about $150. The skull pile print was actually distributed by Liquid Blue, which is a wholesaler for apparel items. And in stating that Liquid Blue is an apparel wholesaler, um, this design was made famous by like Travis Scott, and some even say Grateful Dead, but I don't think so. So Juicy J actually made this print design pretty popular, especially when he wore it during the, the Stay Fly music video with 3-6 Mafia. You can actually go to the Liquid Blue website right now and see that they have t-shirts on there, they have handkerchiefs, um, and they're not expensive at all. They're actually really reasonable. I think the t-shirt's going for like $24 or something like that. So let's get talking about this skateboard deck. So on the deck, on the surface where you put your feet, you see the skulls and their heads. You'll see the bones too, uh, uh, commemorating that skull pile name. On the lower third of the deck, you'll see Supreme in the registered trademark there. You'll see it says World Famous in the Supreme box logo and Liquid Blue is mentioned on this deck as well. Flipping to the reverse side, of course, you have Supreme branding all the way across in white and the skull pile design behind it. You have the Supreme registered trademark right there and that's about it. Another cool feature of this skateboard is the fact that it glows in the dark. So I come from a screen printing background and the way they printed the design on this board is using screen printing methods and they use the four color process. Now usually the board will sit on a rack, it's usually in white already, so they put it on, they'll take the first screen, the first screen is usually yellow, you're going from lightest to darkest, uh, C, Y, K, M, I don't remember the color mapping, but it's yellow first, then they'll pull it back, they'll put magenta next, they'll pull it back, and then they'll put blue or cyan, they'll pull it back, and then they'll put key, which is another name for black and then they'll pull it back. And then that's how the design gets on the board. It kind of mixes the color or uh, uh, puts little dots and it kind of blends in to make this board the finished product. I think the quality of this board is pretty legit. Honestly, I've never skated on a Supreme deck, so I don't know um, how durable it is, but looking at the finish of the design itself, it just, it looks, it looks pretty good. It looks immaculate. But if you actually skate and you've skated on a Supreme deck, let me know down in the comments below if these decks suck for skating in. I really don't know. I'm just gonna put it out there. If you have one of those Akira Neo Tokyo Supreme decks, let me know. I really want one and I'm so down to trade you for one of these. Let me know in the comments below. So what do you think about this skateboard deck? Is it a good design? Bad design? Let me know down in the comments below. Again, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Like this video if you truly enjoyed it. Give me those thumbs up and we'll check you next time. Cheers.